Hey guys! Lately I've started using quite a bit of wire and gemstones together with my palmer clay jewelry and I've gotten a ton of requests for showing how I make the frames as well as the gemstone chains for my cameos, so I hope you will enjoy. I'm first going to show you some of the tools I use when working with wire. You'll need a variety of pliers and the basic ones you'll need are pliers for cutting, round nose pliers and flat nose pliers. Another tool I absolutely love using is a jewelry or chasing hammer and if you look closely you can see that the one on the left has a slightly domed head whereas the one on the right is completely flat. I never use the one on the right anymore and I'm going to show you why in just a bit. If you have a hammer for using with the wire you'll need something to hammer on. You can find steel blocks like these both online and in some craft stores. Now the thing with using the hammer with a completely flat head is that it's hard to avoid getting marks on the wire from the edge of the hammer and it can ruin the surface and color if your wire is coated. When hammering wire it becomes stronger and it holds the shape better which is great if you're using gauges of wire that aren't as thick and other than that it just gives a really nice look. Another tool for strengthening wire is the wire whacker. You can place your wire piece in between the two blocks and smack them together a few times. This will strengthen the wire and help it keep its shape just like the hammer, but it won't flatten the wire or change the appearance. Next tool is a ring mandrel. You can make rings without one, just by using something with the approximate thickness of your finger or by making the ring directly on your finger. But the ring mandrel is great to have if you need to make a ring in a specific size, maybe as a gift for someone else. I really like this one which is made from steel because you can use your hammer on it without it breaking. Ring sizes usually come with the mandrels, but otherwise they can be purchased separately. They're great to have in general for figuring out what size you need to make your rings. Depending on the amount of response I get on this video, I might make another one showing how to make a couple of rings and some more wire techniques. Now let's get started. These are a couple of sketches I made when figuring out how to make a frame for my palmer clay cameos and there are probably lots of ways to do this but these are just the basic ways I thought of. I don't make them the exact same way every time. The main thing you need to consider is that the frame should hold the cameo so it doesn't come loose or fall out from the back or one of the sides. It's easier to understand when you sit down and play around with the wire. I started out with a fairly long piece of wire, don't know the exact length. I bent it on the middle to create the midpoint of the bottom and then just started bending and swirling it in the pattern I thought looked good. The gauge of wire I used for this was 1.25mm. I also hammered the wire in between the bending. You don't have to hammer it, but again it's just going to make it more sturdy and I really like the look.
I used wire in 0.4mm to wrap around some areas. This is also going to help with making it more sturdy. To make a back side slash lock to hold the cameo in place, I took a shorter piece of wire, bent it on the middle, hammered it and made a bend like shown in the video. Then wrapped that onto the frame both on the top and bottom to keep it in place. I then used the leftover wire on top to create the final swirls which are going to make sure the cameo won't move or fall out. Lastly I wrapped a couple of gemstones onto the frame. I use real gemstones but you can definitely do this with other types of beads as well. All the tools and materials I use can be found in different stores and online, just have a look and find a seller near you. Check out eBay, different sites that sell jewelry supplies etc. I've even seen lots of sellers on Etsy who sell wire and gemstones in both small and large quantities, which is awesome if you need to find something within a specific budget. I then attached the frame to a couple of jump rings and some gemstone chain. To make this chain you'll need some thin wire, I'm using the 0.4mm and then you'll need some gems, beads or whatever you want to have in between the links. Take the end piece of your wire and make a loop, then take the shorter end and wrap the wire around a couple of times, then cut off the excess and use your flat nose pliers to make sure there aren't any sharp edges. Then add any bead of your choice, I'm using small nuggets of red garnet. Make another loop on the other end the same way. Then repeat these steps until you have the length of chain you need. I really hope this video was just somewhat helpful. Thank you so much for watching and take care.